Good morning. On this episode of Joe's Garage, we will be doing the install procedure for air intake grill for a 987.2 Boxster Spider year 2011-2012. Okay, here we see what we need to do the installation. A pair of needle nose pliers just to grab the uh, zip tie if it gets away from you. Clippers to clip it. Our air intake grill which has been preformed with a curve front to back and on the top edge up. This is going to tuck underneath the edge of the uh, LED plastic light cover. And very notably some extra zip ties which you may or may not need. So to get this cover off there's four tabs, two on the bottom and two on the top. The bottom ones, you reach underneath it and just flex the plastic piece down and it'll come loose. And I'll show you more of this later. And then the top, you have to reach it underneath it and press it up and it's off. So here's the plastic tabs. This one goes on the top. This one goes underneath the bottom one. Same thing over here. And here's those metal tabs that those engage against. Okay, so now we're going to take our grill and basically put it under, in underneath, slide it all the way out, and then rotate it up, and then bring it back. So here we go. Get it in as high as you can on this side. This is where you can grab the leash. Just kind of wiggle it a little bit. If it hangs up, this grill material is fairly flexible, so it's not really a problem. And rotate it. It's in at the bottom now. You can see that here. And now on the top, it'll catch up. It'll catch on there every now and again. You just have to flex it down. Bring it over. There we go. There we go. It's out now. Grab the leash, slide it over. So you can see how this cutout here matches up with the tab and tab there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is undo our outer piece of tape here and release that zip tie. Zip tie over this front crossbar. And it's going to go in this little groove here and then engage it, but don't snug it down yet. Just till it starts clicking. There's that one. Now let's take this one. Loosen the tape. You'll want to pre fit the grill to confirm the placement of these zip ties. There's just enough variability in the manufacturing process that you might want to move them over one or two slots. Okay, now we've got that. Now we're going to go to our bag of zip ties and get two. And these you can just you can, you can uh, use your best judgment here. So what I like to do is use this crossbar here for one of them. So, position it, hold it to place. Get it in there. Now we're going to loop it back and just go the one past it. There we go. Pull that through. What you have to do is one well, on the outside because it's, it's a tight turn, is feed it through. Okay, there we have it. Feed this down. You want this piece to end up about right here. Good. Engage this one now. Don't snug it all the way up yet. Confirm. 
Confirm where it is. That looks good. Clearance here. Good. Look at the other one. I'm going to use this section here. So get that snug against here. Take it down. Fit back there. There we go. Put that down. Engage that. Good. Do is get the uh, crossbar ones engaged. Good. You want to make sure these tabs are underneath so they're out of sight. We'll roll that down. this up a little bit. And we're going to clip off the excess. On the top ones here you can leave a little tail because you can't see it. That's fine. Okay. You can take the leash off. this curb if we got clearance here for that tab that's going to go in clearance behind there for this one curved up snugged in very nice okay like to put the bottom ones on first and then looking at the top one flex it up into there Snap. There we go. All snap in and done. So now, birds, small children will not get sucked in there and block your uh, radiators. Car will run cool and everything good. Any questions? Um, do not hesitate to give Eric a call at. Um, the Radiator Grill Store, who is a supplier of this excellent product. Um, very well made, looks good. This is Joe from Joe's Garage wishing you happy motoring. Okay.